Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, man. We got and we got another NBA 2K21 video, man. Bunch of crazy gameplay news, build news, new badges news, badges that are being tweaked news, and also I'm going to show y'all what the layup meter is most likely going to be in NBA 2K21. It is a feature that was in the game or a game NBA elite I don't even I don't know if that was NBA live I have no idea I don't even remember but uh so there was a feature back then that basically is what Mike Wang is explaining right now how it's going to work because you y'all you, know 2k y'all know 2k right y'all know 2k they don't come out with nothing new they recycle and recycle and recycle and recycle and recycle but I, I guess it's probably gonna work better um, but yeah, I'm gonna show y'all in, in this video. If y'all know what I'm talking about, Mike Wang made a tweet talking about how you can aim your your um, layups now, and if you master it, you'll be able to make contact finishes way more and all this and that. But even if you mess it up wide open, you'll still make it. But he says in contact, so it could be a real cheese element. Um, you're gonna be doing like a little fight combo on your right stick. So for all you hit my top dribblers, you might be able to be a god spinner. Our, our finisher but yeah bro before we get into that make sure y'all subscribe if you know 300k on the way hit that like button if you're excited for the demo 824 and rate mom and rate rate the drip man rate the drip down in the comments below one through ten man look at young swan man i look like a guy i i i i i would steal you this fit on god check me out super saiyan real nigga peep me you feel me let me know, man. I, I gotta be the drippiest of them all. So here is NBA Elite 11, right? Y'all let me know if this is NBA Live. I have no idea. But um, yeah, let's have a look-see, my boy. So this is an old-ass game, right? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So you see the left stick. I guess this is the right stick. I don't really know how this works. I guess you left stick towards the rim and then... You right stick aim it like a field goal, and this is like a meter. I don't know if he's gonna do something. Damn, was they speed boosting? Look at this. We we kick it. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. I also have another video too. Hold on. Look at this. This is like kicking a field goal. This is. Y'all let me know if y'all think this is way too detailed. If y'all want something like this in the game, um, I just think, bro, if they add this element, like what comes to my mind. What comes to my mind when you add an element like this is there's going to be hell of a lot of contested finishes. But I think that, you know, if you add something like this, you're not going to let people just make um, contested stop stuff if they don't, like, master this. Kicking the ball on field goals for Madden is easy, man. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know how, how y'all feel about it, man. I, I got another video, too. So y'all let me know how y'all like this, man. <laughs> If this look cool to y'all, I don't know, bro. Like, don't y'all think they will mess up the screen? Like, when people are dribbling and stuff, kind of like it's not gonna look like clean. I don't know. Look at this. <laughs> like, god damn, niggas is doing combos for layups. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, man, anything that's more, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know how I feel about it, bro. Like, I'm just real worried, bro. Like, I don't, I don't have faith. Look at my nigga AI, nigga's a god. One of the greatest of all time. Man, I don't really be having faith in 2K, bro. Like, like they, like for instance, in NBA 2K19, bro, they added pushing, right? Man, that it stayed in the game for six months or eight, like six, nine months. I don't even remember, bro. Like they try to add something new. It was broken. It took them forever to remove it. What, what if this is broken? And you just like you can't get blocked and all this little stupid stuff, and you just making every contested finish i don't know bruh you feel me but i don't know i'm just i'm just worried about it hopefully they can switch it up so um yeah y'all let me know how y'all feel about this so doc prime responds to laker fan with a question so you think it should be this way for wide open layups fast breaks too i don't agree it's a layup not a jump shot i agree i agree for the little wide open Mike Wang says, I've gone back and forth on this, but settled on wide open. You can basically ignore timing and aiming and still hit. I agree with that, man. The grown men, NBA, you know, league players, and you know, like, you know, they don't, you don't really see them missing wide open layups, man. Like, rarely. 
but you don't really see that man that that's extremely frustrating i don't know how someone could really mess up their timing but i don't know i think that's a good feature y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. and here we go there uh, uh, see, see, I, 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 I fuck i fuck with laker fan i fuck with him but but i don't like how he be trying to like you know get, get slashers buffs and all that you know because i don't think slashing that it'll never take skill just the concept of slashers for you little old heads and young heads y'all well not young heads for y'all old heads man and just delusional people man i don't i don't think y'all really understand my 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 line of thinking i think in general just the concept of slashing being a slasher right i don't think that takes skill it takes skill in real life to finish over someone in real life just like it takes skill to shoot contested in real life but in a video game where you're creating a skill gap and you want players to have different skill you know like gaming stick skill and stuff when someone is forced to shoot a contested shot that means they are bad and they don't deserve to make the shot when someone excels in getting wide open wide open takes wide open shots that means you need to create a gap between someone who can get wide open and someone versus someone who can only finish in the paint and basically exploit the game with their build and badges making the game unenjoyable you feel me see in 16 and 15 and stuff it wasn't like this but now people have these souped up builds i know a lot of people say oh those were demigods back then man demigods are even worse i ain't never seen nobody dexing oh <laughs> dexing three years straight 17 18 19 y'all always say they're not demigods we're role players when when these stretch bigs out here isoing dexing dexing 50 100 streaks just sitting there dexing with the glass cleaner you know stretch bigs running point i ain't i ain't see that in 16 i ain't see it in 15 you feel me but I, i'm just saying um it seemed like mike wayne going this way because he he responded to him a couple times but uh laker fan said i'm sure you can hold x for wide open and be fine but also keep in mind pro players are pro players because they are good i think being good at layups semi-contested should be a skill just like shooting it um it is because it, it seems like a um even currently in this game it seems like a lot of y'all say you miss layups you miss layups you miss 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 layups let me tell y'all something for me personally i make everything i almost make everything contested with a three-point playmaker right or with um one finishing badge on my two-way pass first point so it seems like you know i know something y'all don't my timing's better than a lot of y'all because y'all don't see me like complaining about intimidator or nothing like i make hella contested stuff all the time but um anywho mike wang responds saying exactly what i was going for here creating a skill gap for slashers you can master the pro stick layups you'll have a much better chance of finishing at the rim contested and through contact man i don't know that scared me y'all y'all let me know y'all's predictions for nba 2k 21 when it comes to this whole feature and stuff man griffin responds to young mike wang and says how about duncan with the pro stick how would that work duncan is the same as 20 leaked solo's booty call says yo baloo to turn off the right stick shoot option so that way there isn't any accidental step back shots young mike wang says yeah you can turn right stick shooting off completely if you want Lee. so here here we go with this here we go with it trev says baluba i hope i get a response been five years no response for me lol so hey if y'all want to answer from my boy you gotta spit those and also make sure y'all follow me on Twitter. Support my tweets. I made hella tweets. So make sure you follow me on Twitter and support my tweets, man. He didn't respond to none of them. But um, no response for me, LOL. I know you answer about shooting. Will there be a difference between a 99-3 ball and a 70? Mike Wang says there's a pretty significant difference. Take your average three-point field goal percent as a 70 and add about 20%, okay? 
this you know he's saying you know there's gonna be a real difference bro so um i don't too much believe this because even last year man he said um contested shots 53 pointers weren't gonna go in i know there's some tweets i know y'all could probably find them you know tweet them to me my boy but um he said that i don't know bro seem like when i look at people who play guard versus people who play lock who just shoot in the corner and there ain't that big of a difference in their three point percent you feel me <laughs> the lock might actually have a higher three point percent stay woke <laughs> so this jasper guy is losing his mind right he's saying he's going to return and request a refund mad jim jasper the clown himself straight trash homie ain't nobody got time to be doing all that bs just to make a layup y'all tripping you ever heard of the expression leave well enough alone what what the hell does that mean have y'all ever heard of that expression i've never heard of it. this might be optional meaning i can go in the settings and change it back or i might be requesting a refund damn y'all y'all man i think people be saying this they ain't they, they, they ain't really like that he just talking but i feel you my boy let him know but Young Baluba says, you could turn it off, but you should try it first. It'll make you a better finisher if you can. So Mike threw, wait, you can make a 6-8 in my career? Will we be able to bring him in park? Yeah, you know, um, I just think this is a marketing scheme. I don't, I don't even know if the, they'll be lit like that, to be honest. I hope they are, though. Man, j just imagine a 6-8 point guard with decent stats. That'll change the whole game. Because everyone will have way more defense, way better defense. And then people will really be able to shut down screens. Because you know, screen users, they, they got to be smaller, right? And you know, you're going to be able to contest all that stuff, get way better contest, way more rebounds. You know, you're going to be able to exploit the guard if that's the meta. You know, screen users might be getting bullied, my way. You should be, If pick dodger that actually works, you know, just six eights, they get better through screens in little regard i don't know i like it bro but I, I, don't, I don't so mike wayne talks about the pro stick young honcho says how about if you use the square button young mike wayne says shot button will work though a lot of retuning has been done okay we gonna see we gonna see what y'all think the retuning is michael thu says can we turn off the meter and shoot with the right stick and still have boost or can you only do one? I already answered this in my previous video. Y'all be sure to go check my previous videos. Mike Wang says, you could turn off the meter and shoot with the right stick, but it will be timing based like 2K20. So basically what he's saying, if you use the target system, like, you know, there's a new target system and all that stuff, you have to have the meter on. So you can't double stack the boost. And if you time it right with the, the little target system meter and stuff, you get a big boost. You get a bigger boost than just no jump shot meter like it was in 2k20 but you don't have to use the target system and you could just use no jump shot meter and get a boost to your shooting and you know in 2k20 this is like the easiest shooting 2k for greens um and i presume that there's probably just a normal shot meter too but yeah y'all let me know how y'all feel about that og nick says is team pro am gonna be on green or miss sliders Baluba says Team Pro-Am will use competitive sliders. Now, this is cap, bro. I've been playing Pro-Am. Well, I've, I've always played fives my whole life since like the first 2K, bro. And I, I don't know. I started really messing with Pro-Am in like 18, bro. And the sliders through this year, bro, you make way more contested shots in the paint and you make way more contested shots on the perimeter then you wouldn't park and stage. You would think that it, it wouldn't be like that, but for some reason, Pro-Am is like that. I don't know why, um, but yeah, hopefully it has actual competitive sliders. It's crazy. Cleo says, so it's like a street fighter, fireball motion up, starting left or right. And he says, similar, yeah. Y'all know how to do the fireball, you know? You know, how do I look? Got some more info, my boy. <clears throat> nah, fam, I can't says, how will the new shot stick affect post? Is the mechanic the same as layups with the brief, then rotate? Mike Wang says, yeah. Let's say you're shooting a post fade by holding at the eight o'clock. You then rotate to the six o'clock or wherever the ideal aim point is. 
it moves based on coverage then you can either keep holding there once you find it or you can release a uh, trigger timing this sounds toxic like now you boost and post scores man i don't know i don't i don't know bro like you you, you boost and post scores now man i don't know i i when you when you think about it bro with this new feature you know post scores are already you know they make everything post scoring in general even on builds with 50 hook and stuff i can make almost everything in the paint bro so just imagine a build that's big that's harder to contest and you got all these badges 99 post hook fade stuff like that plus you time this i think i think post scores is going to be toxic again probably more toxic than than man probably just as toxic uh, as 19 bro to be honest bro or more definitely more i don't know bro if you use a post score you're done you're done no your whole life doesn't doesn't matter you don't exist to me anymore you're not a real human you're a subhuman um you disgust me dirty peasant um edge says is puggle stick removed young michael says puggle stick is still in the game but it was nerfed okay we gonna see what two jumps instead i don't know i think in a game where paint defense is like broken you you need something like pogo stick but um yeah y'all let me know how y'all feel about it i know most of the community hates pogo stick i don't know i don't really get y'all bro i don't i don't i don't get y'all like imagine if no pogo stick no intimidator how are you getting stops in the paint how <laughs> <laughs> like like how i don't i don't i don't know and lastly heat nation says mike are you only answering questions about current gen mike wink says yeah although i think all of my responses so far apply to both okay leaked on next anywho that's the end of the video man make sure y'all turn on post notifications subscribe if you know like y'all let me know how y'all feel about all this information be sure to sub to my uh new channel i'm gonna drop a rage taj on it tonight go watch my past videos i'm out there so make sure y'all go to the gym seven days a week drink a gallon of water a day adios